Yeah, I'd like to briefly introduce myself and uh, my physical activity epidemiology lab. Uh, my name is Zhang Gao. I'm a current uh, uh, professor at the School of Kinesiology. I'm also the director of Physical Activity Epidemiology Lab. Um, well, uh, in terms of my educational background, uh, I obtained my master's and a bachelor's degree in physical education, teaching, and coaching. A uh, long time ago, then uh, I obtained my doctorate degree in psychological and pedagogical science of physical activity. Uh, later, I landed my job uh, as assistant professor at the University of Utah, and later I stayed uh, in Texas Tech for another two years. Uh, so in 2012, I moved to University of Minnesota. Uh, and during this process, I successfully switched my major from physical education to physical activity epidemiology lab. Here, I'd like to uh, talk about uh, my research names. Uh, my research primarily focuses on the e-health, mobile health interventions to promote health and prevent chronic disease among different populations. Uh, my research also targets the underserved population. So many of my projects um, focus on the social economic inequities. Uh, and given my background, I did another study uh, with behavior change theories uh, so motivation and behavior change is another part of my research now. Well, next I'd like to briefly introduce uh, the definition for epidemiology and the physical activity epidemiology. So by definition, epidemiology refers to the study of the distribution and determinants of health-related states or events in specific populations and the application of this study to the control of health problems. When it comes to physical activity epidemiology, it studies the association of physical activity as a health-related behavior with disease and other health outcomes, the distribution and the determinants of physical activity behaviors, and the interrelationship of physical activity and other behaviors, as well as applies the knowledge to the prevention and control of a disease and promotion of health. So in our research lab, we basically conducted two categories of research projects. The first type of research uh, focused on the population-based physical activity interventions using emerging technologies such as active video games, health variables, virtual realities to promote health. Um, the secondary uh, category is the uh, psychosocial and uh, behavioral determinants of physical activity behaviors. Uh, these uh, include the uh, children's motor skills, physical activity, cognition, fitness, academic performance, and uh, some other uh, variables. Well, I would like to showcase some of our, our research projects in the past. Uh, so as you can see, some of the highlighted research projects will be on curricular activities on children's motivation and physical activity, uh, the effects of goal difficulty and goal specificity. Uh, another uh, project funded by Robert Wood Johnson Foundation project game and two NIH projects and the several uh, complete this project. Uh, in the end, I will uh, briefly introduce our lab and our programs and the summer courses I'm teaching. Uh, this project, X Gaming in Physical Education class, well, was funded by AFERD in 2008. Um, the major purpose of our study is to examine the effect of three different curriculums, uh, namely fitness, football, in the dance dance revolution, a type of activity game on children's situational motivation and the physical activity levels in physical education class. It was published in research quarter for exercise and sport. Um, later, we worked on a after school X gaming as well. As you know, X gaming is also called active video games. It is a kind of video game that is also a form of exercise. Some examples like Dance Dance Revolution, 
uh, Xbox, Just Dance, uh, Sports, Wii Sports, Wii Switch Sports, Wii Range. Yeah, so in this study, we work with a total of 98 elementary school children in the urban schools and implement the X Gaming Dance in the after school programs. And then we examine the changes of the physical activity levels and performance in the Dance Dance Revolution project. Uh, in 2009, uh, we successfully landed a research grant from Robert Wood Johnson Foundation based on the panel study we conducted. So with this study, we offered a school exercise program for the uh, urban Latino children. Uh, so we named it as gaming approaches for more exercise uh, because during our intervention, we used the dance dance revolution in combination with aerobic dance in the school's exercise program. And uh, we noticed that our exercise program improved the Latino children's uh, physical fitness, uh, especially the one mile run, the cardiovascular fitness, and the math grades over the course of two years. And um, we, I have successfully in integrated the activity games in the school sites. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, some of the teachers and the school leaders reach out to me and ask us to establish similar programs in their schools. So back uh, in Salt Lake City, uh, we also offered the, the activity game programs to uh, two elementary schools. Uh, so as you can see, the program has been well received by the teachers and students uh, in those schools. Um, when I left uh, Salt Lake City in 2010, I received lots of thank you notes from the teachers, parents, and students. I stayed in Texas for two years and uh, was able to uh, establish three uh, in-school X-Gaming lab uh, in and uh, we, we actually secured a, a federal grant to implement the programs now. Uh, I also offered the access program, including X gaming program to a large group of homeschool kids in Texas. Uh, after I moved to uh, Minneapolis, I established a connection with two elementary schools and Sunnyman Elementary School and Norway Elementary School. And we worked with these two schools on multiple projects. Uh, in before the COVID, we also work with a uh, charter school in Golden Valley. It was a, a, a charter school that served uh, mainly the unserved uh, African American communities. Uh, so this is example of our projects funded by National Institute of Health. We public we work on the project for four years and. Uh, uh, and the project was mainly to examine the effects of X gaming on children's uh, health related physical fitness, motor skills, physical activity, and perceived competence. And during my time at Minnesota, I also worked with a, a variety of populations through X gaming intervention, including children, um, preschool children and the college students, as well as elite athletes, like uh, former Olympic champions. And we were able to secure a federal grant to study the effects of s activities on the health outcomes among preschool children. Uh, you know, we were fortunate to complete all the data collection before the COVID hit us. Exercise is another intervention channel I used for my intervention. So I started this number research from 2014. Um, we first started with the, the access app used in physical education class. Uh, we worked closely with the school's physical education teachers and uh, worked with them to use the access app on the iPad and then integrate in the physical education classes. And we were uh, successfully you know, published this paper recently. Uh, and uh, we also work with the college students uh, to use the access app to promote their leisure time physical activity and their sex social mental health uh, through the access app named the Map My Run or Map My Fitness. Um, and uh, 
uh, I also use the health variables uh, to, uh, to promote health and fit activity among different populations. So as you can see before we actually use the smartwatches, we did two validation studies with smartwatches uh, and uh, we, we use the smartwatch um, and exercise apps uh, to promote health uh, among the breast cancer survivors. Uh, we also work with a group of college students as well. So as you can see, we use uh, the smartwatch health variables among cancer survivors. Uh, at this time, we are collaborating with a medical team from Guangdong, China, and promoting breast cancer survivors disease management through smartwatch and, and online health community. Uh, we actually secured a grant from Roche from Tactical um, to do this two-year project. Some of the ongoing projects in our lab include the impact of virtual reality exercise back on the uh, college students' health outcomes. Uh, so the virtual reality platform we use is called Vazoom. We have uh, complete three projects so far and published a number of papers. Uh, yeah, so we, we are still doing the data collection for one recent project. And uh, as you can see, uh, in the follow-up project, we are currently recruiting the research participants for the virtual reality exercise intervention in your lab. So if you have interest, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, and uh, in terms of the follow-up project, um, I will continue my research now with X Gaming uh, among some other underserved population like uh, the older adults and the uh, children with autism. Um, I will also continue my work with health variables, apps, and social media intervention. Uh, and uh, yeah, the augmented reality games may be another future research area as well. Yeah, um, this is a highlight for my lab. Um, actually, it was uh, right before the COVID. We haven't updated it. Uh, recently, but as you can see, we uh, conduct uh, a number of uh, projects and we worked with uh, uh, many community partners and schools. And uh, uh, yeah, we have uh, a big research team to conduct uh, the project. Uh, well, uh, here at the University of Minnesota, I teach courses uh, usually uh, for the graduate students, um, for King 5125 advances of fit Active and Health uh, and the current issues in health. Usually for those two 5,000 level courses, many undergraduate and graduate students in register for the course. Uh, I think it's available for the upper level undergraduate students. Uh, I also teach King 8980 graduate research seminar uh, in the four semesters. And yeah, for example, this semester I'm teaching this course uh, for all the graduate students. Well, as many of you know that physical activity and health promotion is a big area here at the University of Minnesota. Uh, I established the master's and the PhD's degree in physical activity and health promotion back in 2017. Then this fall, we, in the fall of 2022, uh, we established a Bachelor of Science in Field Character and Health Promotion. So if you have interest to pursue the career in the field of field activity and health, uh, yeah, you may reach out to us. All right. Uh, next, I want to briefly talk about the trend uh, in the field of field activity epidemiology. Uh, in the past several years, the e-health or mobile health has been the hot topic in the field and it is always on the national research agenda. For example, the federal government will emphasize the application of the mobile health in promoting health and uh, uh, quality of life among different target populations. Uh, in addition, the health di disparities is another concern uh, like across the whole nation. Um, you know, how to uh, make sure that the health care services 
uh, or uh, programs are inclusive and equity uh, across all the populations is a major concern in the country. Um, uh, in addition, uh, how to improve the quality of life and promote health. Uh, meanwhile, uh, prevent the chronic disease uh, is really important for this nation. Uh, lastly, um, I would like to offer some of the tips for success uh, for your career uh, as an undergraduate student here. Uh, I think first you need to um, home your skills, not only your writing skills, spoken uh, communication skills, uh, as well as uh, your skills in a specific uh, uh, discipline. Uh, second, I think you know passion is really important. We always say that passion is the best teacher and it is what motivates you to move forward. So uh, I encourage you to uh, devote your passion to the things that you love to do. Uh, lastly, I think team play is always, always very important. Uh, we need to collaborate with many students, many partners in the future. Uh, so uh, learn how to uh, do the team play is very critical in your future career. Uh, here is uh, my contact information and the uh, address for my lab. So if you have any interest um, in doing research in this area or pursue a career in physical activity and health promotion, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you very much.